Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 217. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. You can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 215 to 217. Hey, in this trick here, we have a simple if formula. Now, I have lots of if formulas. I think I have like 70 videos, but surprisingly there's very few of them where the criteria is a word. So here's a nice simple uh, if formula to show you that you can use the criteria in Word. I do have a few, but out of the 70, it's like there's two of them. So here it is, a nice simple formula. All we want to do is plop a 1 into each one of these cells when it says ed. So we do equals if, if one cell to my left equals, and if we're doing text, we do it in quotes, ed. And quotes, um, ed here is the same as this. It's not uh, case sensitive unless you use uh, exact function, which I do have a few videos on uh, the exact function and, and doing exact case. But let's just do ed. That's a true, false, logical test. It either comes out true or false. Either whatever's in one cell to my left is equal to this text string or it's not. The value of true, I'm going to put a comma. And the value of true, we're going to put a 1. Otherwise, come out if uh, what to put in the cell of false, zero, close parentheses. Now I control enter, and then I'm going to double click and send it down. And sure enough, it seems like it worked just fine. There's ed1, ed1, there's z. Now an even better way to do it, if I still have this range highlighted in the active cell right there, hit F2. And instead of um, a text string hard coded in there since it's a variable thing and anything that can change should be put in a cell and uh, this cell needs to be the same all the way down so I'm going to hit my F4 key twice to put the dollar sign in front of the number the F4 key locks it so we have a dollar sign in front of the row reference control enter now they're all zero until we put something here how about ed and there we go. We can see we have uh, some eds with one, one. What if we change this to Z? There we go. So now we got a one for there. And then there's Fred. All right, so it looks like there's only a one, Ooh, one Fred. Now here's the deal. Uh, this really is how spreadsheets were um, envisioned by uh, Bricklin and Frankston. Uh, variable data goes into a cell. In this case, our variable data is what? It's a word. So it can be a word or a number or a true, false, or whatever. All right, so ifs do work with text in their logical test. All right, we'll see you next trick.